But my name is Marie Hansen, MBE. Um, also, I'm an ambassador for the Peace Federation. Um, I run an organisation based in Battersea called STORM. Um, STORM stands for Support, Trust, Opportunity, Rebuild and Motivation. Um, I started STORM 18 years ago um, through a situation that I was going through and I went through domestic violence. Um, I slept in my car for three days with my children, heavily pregnant. And then I decided to um, run um, to run an organisation um, to help other women and to empower other women to get out of their situation. Um, I work um, in the community. Um, yeah, so um, I'm actually grew up in Hampshire, Basingstoke, and I moved to London. And my heritage is um, Jamaican. Um, my dad is a white Jamaican and my mum is a black Jamaican. So, yeah. So, I grew up in... Um, um, I'm a Jamaican. Obviously, I, I run an organisation and I have been running it for 18 years. So, my impact is basically helping um, people get into employment, working with young people. Um, yeah, my impact is seeing people's lives change and broken people change. I actually um, raised someone as well for two years, um, a young person that lived on the streets um, and now he's in university. So I'm really proud of that as my impact. I, when I see women's lives change, um, I can't even literally go down the road and <laughs> down the street. Everyone actually knows me, and you know, I I can see that um, people's lives have changed, and it's it's great when I see someone that comes to the organisation, and it's great when I see someone's literally turn their lives around and their family's life around them. I would say that Storm is the hub. I mean, it's, it started off with work with young people but we're now working with everybody um i've got three centers um i've got a nursery where i can help mums um who might need to go to work or, or who wants respite and um, i've and i did everything i did when i when i when doing storm was basically on on what i my journey because you know i've got six children nine grandchildren um, so I remember when I was really young with my children and I just literally wanted to have a break and or just to go shopping with, without, without my children and I remember they were running in Tesco's and someone turned around and said Can you, can't you control them I said well no I can't um, and I just thought you know if I had somewhere I could just leave my children and literally go shopping or, or go to an interview but I, I can't go because I haven't I mean, I'm a single mum I was a single mum um, so, you know, I wish I could just do that. So what I've done is brought to my organisation in just helping people. Um, people can leave their children in my centre um, free of charge to do their education. So I'm helping mums um, do their education. So I think that um, it's really funny because when I, I run a, old, um, a 60 plus luncheon club, um, and it's funny because I did cooking, so it's come CEO, come chef, come bottle washer. So, yeah, I, I feel that I make an impact. I hope I make an impact. Oh, what do I love about black culture? Well, um, we're funny people. Um, I really feel that black people have a lot of manners and respect for how we've been brought up. Um, family. I love um, the way we are with our family. Christmas time, we all get together. I love our foods. I love our our costumes, the way we wear our, our clothes with pride. Um, yeah, I just love the way that we are as uh, as black people. I, I, I find that um, famous black people as well, we can strive and look up to. Um, I think like, Black people are growing, getting bigger and bigger. Every year, we're getting greater and greater. Um, yeah, I just feel our culture is really, is a part of our, us, a part of our lives. 
Oh, what can I say? Um, personally, I just think every day is a black history month, to be quite fair. But when you have that that Pacific month, it's it's great because we can like we can, we can. It's like it's our time. It's our time to speak out. It's our time to just do what you not do what you want to do, but it's our time to speak out. It's it's a great month. It's our culture. It's like making people understand who we are, um, and to know, and just to get to know more about our culture. And it's, it's just a good month, and it's such a it's, it's like in schools, people are getting to know um, who we um, about us as black people. Um, yeah, I just think like it's a great month. It's just it's just a vibrant month. I, I would think it's a vibrant month. Knowledge is power. So I really believe that read up about your heritage, read up about um, who you are, um, and don't be frightened to, to speak out. Just don't be frightened to speak out because, you know, as black people, we have to be keep ourselves strong and literally don't let your situation speak to you. Don't look back and just don't look back and think, oh, well, because I'm black, I can't do this. Yes, you, there's nothing impossible. You can. I'm living proof. I would never, ever have thought that I would even go to Buckingham Palace. <laughs> I always say it's from the pits in the palace. So, you know, look at all the great people, that, um, all the great black people are doing well. Look, that you can be that person. Like, don't, if you live in a housing estate or if you come from a really poor or vulnerable background, don't let that situation speak to you as black people. Don't think you can never, ever strive to be anything but great.